I did not think I would make it to 16. That's why I made a big hoopla last year because I had all these changes in my life and all these changes with my business. And um, and I honestly didn't know where I'd be in a year. And so to be sitting here with all of these wonderful friends today, I just thank you all for taking an hour out of your day because I think the leading in the now conversation is um, it's interesting times. There are life experiences because I really believe we lift people with us. And the more, you know, I was having lunch with Wendy Papazan, who everybody knows Wendy Papazan, right? She's incredible. And she's a dear friend of mine. And we teach CV together sometimes. I mean, she's just a dear friend. I've learned a lot from her as much as she's learned from me, probably more from her. And we're sitting there and she knows a lot of my personal story. And she just said, you know, Melanie, um, I think you need to share more of your personal stuff with people because I think a lot of times as leaders, we have this image and again we lead and we follow all the time we're going to talk about that right but as leaders we believe that we have to have everything together all the time and we you know can't do certain things i mean we have to and this is just maybe it's me but i believe that a lot of us feel this way that we have to present ourselves a certain way at all times and sometimes when we show the cracks and we show the pain that we go through and the choices we make and it's the things that we get beat on I mean, we wanted to start with a video uh, of, was that, Ashley, did you send that? Who sent the video? No, it was David. That was yeah. David. <laughs> the little kid getting all excited about us going in leadership. We're like, I got this, I got this. And he takes off and he hits the glass window. Right. <laughs> and, and there it is. And he just gets bloom. And, and then all of us are like, well, we should start with that because that's how leadership feels every single day, right? These rainbow eucalyptus trees, they, as they age, the bark peels and they start releasing colors of orange and and green and they become more beautiful and vibrant the older they get and that's how i see us as humans the more the the more experience the more wisdom we have the more pain that we suffer and get through and still show up with a smile I believe the more beautiful we become, the more compassionate we are. But we're talking about leading in the now. And again, and what does that mean to you? So the person responsible for my success, my joy, my happiness is me. My ultimate goal is freedom um, and peace. We're not created and designed to do this life on our own and by ourselves. We are meant to share and to allow others to be part of that. So can't not feel the need to achieve. You can't not feel the need, you know, like, oh, I don't want to be around people when you're like nosebleed eye. I've been going to these classes and one of the things they talk about is resourcing. And I think leading in the now right now, if you're not resourcing yourself in things that help you, you're going to fail and then you're going to let everybody down and then it's just going to pile on. So that we can be present in the moment because if we take all the all the moments at once, it's overwhelming. You've got to be right there, super focused on, on what you have to address. And I have reminders around me all the time, and I put this one up last year. I'm not afraid. I was born for this. Mm. And I have to give myself that reminder sometimes because the fear does take over, and that's not a powerful place to lead from. So my belief, we, we've all heard it, right? Um, God doesn't give you more than you can handle. What if he gives you the things you're actually supposed to handle? Like there is a purpose in every major challenge. Uh, and so I, I look for that purpose, even as the thing is happening. We know, and then we know in our heart, and then we know in our gut, there's like three stages of knowledge and understanding. And it's why we feel like we relearn a lesson deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, so mine's a little bit different. I would say success through others has been um, at the forefront of my life as a leader this last year. Um, a lot of y'all know I lost my dad uh, almost three months ago now unexpectedly in a car accident and figured we had many, many years left with him. And I spend every Saturday with my mom and dad. Um, I take dictation for him as he writes and uh, does his um, his authorship and things like that. And so it was just this massive loss that came out of nowhere. And as I move through it, I think the lesson that one I've learned learning a lot, I dropped my phone in the middle of the hallway in our office when I got the phone call. And then I didn't pick it back up euphemistically for about three weeks. And our office ran fast, hard uh, results, profit, recruiting, nothing stopped. 
Um, and I was not involved at any level at all. I realized as a team leader, I got to enjoy, while my experience was not enjoyable, I got to enjoy the fact that we had a team that could keep this place cranking, not just stable, not just running, but growing in my absence. Time, energy, money, I don't have to do anything to get another 24 hours tomorrow. I open my eyes, unless the Lord takes me home, I open my eyes, I got a new day. Money, I can lose it, I can make more, I can get it back, I can grow it. But energy is my absolute most valuable resource because I have to work to get it back. Like I'm in that process of grief right now. How do I get my energy back? And I have to exercise and I have to eat right and I have to have spiritual time and affection. And so, so when you understand that it is the most valuable resource you have, I think you build a fortress and you protect the energy and when it is something that it should not be spent on, because now I'm going to have to go build it back and get more energy, then I choose wisely how I spend that energy. Telling leaders is you've got to take the time to pour into yourself every single day. Transparency, you're going to hear a little bit more of that from me coming forward. So anyway. Your whole world is changing. All of our lives are changing. And the more transparent we are, like we said at the beginning, like what Michelle has seen me go through in the last few years, like it, it just, people can lean in and connect with you at a whole different level. So I, that's beautiful, Diane. I'm so proud of you. And, and I love that you've created that life by design and, and you inspire, you inspire a lot of us. There's just, you just never know what's going on for someone. And you think so highly of them and you think, look at their life and look at where they are. And I want to do that too. And there's broken pieces of all of us scattered throughout the journey, we've, we've stepped on glass, right? And I, I tell the students that come for the classes that I get, to ch get a chance to teach here, that it's a journey. And fortunately or unfortunately, however you look, look at it, it is a never ending journey. It doesn't stop, it, there is no end point, there's no uh, place that we're trying to get to. And that broken glass is, is there and we step on it and we get bruised and cut and how we pick ourselves back up and continue down the journey is something that I've unfortunately had to learn several times in the 10 years I've been here. And I, I think to Diane's point and everyone else on this call, the more we can be vulnerable and Melanie, you talked a lot about this and transparent, the more people understand that we're all human and we all have had something and we can all be better when we know how and we lean on each other when we have those tough moments. So start really celebrating your people's gains more than you think they, they really need it right now. And you think about, you know, Jen, go climb that mountain, go climb that mountain and you go all day and you go, and man, it's the market and it's hard and dodge this and do that and all the things and the sun's coming down and you're looking and it's the end of the day and you're not at that mountain quite yet, right? And you look ahead and you can either say, wow, look how far I have to ahead of me still. I still have so much more to do. And then I turn you around and we look behind you and I say, oh, but Jen, but look how far you've come. The energy shift in your body of the, yeah, you're right. Look how far I've come. I can do this tomorrow. It's the same reason the gap in the gain is so important about transparency and authenticity is that people that's relatable. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. I have achieved these things. Stop and celebrate your gains. Is I used to just uh, ignore things and let them go. Like they would come in and I would just say, oh, it's fine. I'm going to, and I really wasn't ignoring them. And this is what happens is you push past it. You say you're letting it go. You're moving on. You're driving forward because that's what we do a lot as leaders. And what happens is it still goes in there into your body, into your mind. And internally it will, it will kind of fester. So what I've learned is to allow myself to feel, which is again, very taboo as a leader. I'm going to cry. I'm going to feel, I'm going to be vulnerable. And the more that I've been allowing myself to like, oh, okay, I feel this way. Let me, if I need to cry, I'm going to cry. And then an, a magical thing happens is that it does let go. Like it, it's like, you're not releasing this. 
right? It's not, not in you on anymore. Yeah. And you don't carry it with you. So I, I would yeah. challenge people to not be afraid to feel, I mean, there's, there's a, you know, you're not going to be crying all the time in your office and, uh, you know, if you have either. To sometimes maybe <laughs> let that happen, but you know, the title of my Ted talk and book, I always tell people now that I've started this journey is going to be called the dark side of achievement because oh, I, like I think that, that I love that. So, so look out for that book in about, you know, five years, <laughs> the dark side of achievement. I love that you know, be your authentic self. Cause when you do that's leading in the now leading in the now is this is real life. And guess what? This stuff happens to us too. And every day we have a choice. Every day we get up. Every day we ask questions. If you were given the chance to live your life when you thought you were going to die and you thought your plane was going to crash and now your life is spared and you have another chance on life, how would you live it differently? And that's how we should live our life right now, guys. Live it now because your time's not guaranteed. Guaranteed, Like, you know, do the thing, write the song, read the book, write the book, direct the movie, go on that trip. Live where you, with your loved ones, go to that concert. Tell the people you care about, you love them. All beautiful. We are rainbow eucalyptus trees. We, we get more beautiful the more we grow and share and, and, and move forward through our challenges. And I just wanna thank each and every one of you for being great leaders. Thank you for everyone who listened. I love you, love you, love you, and be your best self. And that means taking care of yourself.